New paints are here for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we're taking a look at the newest paint set from Army Painter for Dungeons and Dragons. They've super combined Dungeons and Dragons, well, Wizards, and Army Painter, and Gale Force 9 that produces the figures for Wizards have all come together and put on another wonderful uh, paint set for them. This time it's focusing on the Underdark, you know, the Drow and all the creepy crawlies and that you're gonna encounter probably in all your dungeon crawls and things like that. And it's a it's a great little set. It's a nice little bonus to go with the other two sets that are out there. Uh, currently, they came out, uh, I guess not too long ago. I don't exactly remember when they came out, but when you combine these three sets together, it might be all you need to paint your Dungeons and Dragons or any RPG miniatures for that matter. Now, since Army Painter sent this over to us to help promote and talk about, we're gonna go to their site to show you where you can pick yours up. Uh, so it's just armypainter.com and then there's a whole tab up here with all of the D&D &D line of paints and you can see the monster paint set, the adventurers paint set, the underdark which is the new one, brushes, all sorts of different things. You can get um, some unique paints and speaking of unique paints, uh, some of them that come in this set here are colors that you can't get normally from Army Painter. So it is on pre-order right now. It's gonna come out uh, the November 9th, 2019 for $24.99, which isn't bad for you know the 10 paints here and uh, I think it's a 12 ml bottle. And then you can see the Adventures paint set, which was also $24.99 and the big paint set, the Monsters paint set, which you know it always seems like no matter what scenario you're playing, you're always gonna need uh, some sort of monsters and those are the ones you're always going to keep around for sure and that's an $80 paint set there and there's brushes and like I said all sorts of uh, other different uh, colorful um, special colors there along with uh, the paint set now once we get into this let me click here click on one of these I swear it's going to show us the box uh, itself but what I wanted to really show you was let's see, can I not scroll? I cannot scroll through this all right so these are the exclusive colors that are only going to come in this set here. And you can see where they say D&D &D unique. Um, I hadn't seen any of these yet. And we'll show you the colors uh, squirted out onto uh, a parchment paper here as well. But Putrid Slime and Durgar Metal, those are existing colors. Not exactly by that name in the lineup of uh, D &D, or of Arm Army Painter paints currently. So you can't find those, but these you're only going to be able to get in this set here. And speaking of only getting in the set here, you're also only going to be able to get a exclusive Dritz figure. <laughs> so straight out of the novels and into the tabletop, just like we saw with the other two paint sets, another exclusive figure for these miniature paint sets is here. So here's the set itself, which is going to come in a standard box right there. And on the back, you can see a painted version of Dritz and uh, the colors here, but remember all of these right here are going to be exclusive to the set when you open it up It's going to be all kind of laid out You're not going to get any brushes in this one But hopefully you picked up the other uh, sets that came in brushes or you can get the, the paint set as well Now you'll notice something right off the bat. These are the smaller 12 milliliter paint pots right here And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact the games workshop paint pots These ones here that you're probably more familiar with are also 12 milliliters um, these cost four dollars and eighty cents the army painter ones which are normally a little bit bigger and they're 18 milliliters are 2.99 currently so these technically would cost a little bit less if you could buy them separately but for getting an exclusive miniature and colors that you can't normally get uh in this set i think it's still pretty good value to be quite honest and um at the rate that you're going to use this much paint which is the same as this much paint well it's it's going to last you a while trust me um, I don't think you have to worry about that whatsoever. Now, before we jump into and look at the colors and also look at the exclusive figure, let's talk about what comes in here. So they give you a little pamphlet on all the other stuff that you can pick up. There's the brush set. There's the uh, Adventures paint set, which came with the Minsk and Boo. And then you got Drizzit and the exclusive Owlbear. The Owlbear is really big. I actually like this figure. Um, very easy to paint. It's, a, it's just a dry brush scenario. These you're gonna have to layer and do some different stuff. And they give you a color guide right here, which we'll use um, you know, probably on our miniature as well. So there's all that. And you can always check out uh, some paint tutorials and stuff over on uh, Army Painter's paint channel too. And then more about the Army Painter 
uh, products in general, just a little pamphlet right there. If you go into your game store, then you know you can get the hobby rack and the paints rack. So just normal stuff. Now, when it comes to the miniature itself, let's get a good look at him. So here he is on what appears to be a 25 millimeter base right there. Really great looking detail that you come to expect. It isn't primed and I think they say to use the gray um, brush on primer or it's not exactly a brush on primer uh, with this kit right here which should go pretty well over top of this. We're going to actually use a spray primer, the Army Painter Uniform Gray Spray Primer just to get the party started to paint him up. And it looks like he's got a little bit of a textured base but the swords are nice and pointy and no droops or anything like that. So uh, once you get him primered up, he will be pretty easy to paint. Let's take a look at the colors themselves and then we'll see what we can do with the miniature. So I put a little bit of each color out here on the palette and you can see that I really didn't have to shake these up as much. They're nice and creamy, a little bit different and ready to go right out of the bottle. A little bit different than the, the normal Army Painter paints that have a little bit of uh, matte medium inside of them to keep them from drying out. I don't know whether these were just shooken up on uh, delivery, you know, going through the mail to come to us or what, but I have heard that these bottles themselves, the smaller ones for this DD paint sets, are actually a little bit um, uh, well mixed and you really don't have to worry about, you know, the se separation of medium or the medium on top. And then you have to kind of squirt a little bit out as you do sometimes with some of the larger Army Painter paint pots. So if you get some of the paint pots, you're know, like, what the crap, why is it so thin? You got to squirt out some of the matte medium just for whatever you know consistency you want and then shake it up really 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 good you can actually get some of their mixing balls if that's your thing and put some of those in there to kind of help with things but it's not required you can just shake them up uh, normally and then here's all the colors right here so you know you can kind of get an idea of exactly what they're going to look like before we put them on anything now the lich we've got lich blue the uh, Zathanar blue, the Underdark gray, which is right here, which is more of like a warm gray. This is the metal over here, the Durgar metal. And then the Ancient Mummy, which dries really, really, it's almost like a yellow bone. The Putrid Slime is a little bit translucent, but not too much. Everything else has got really good consistency to it. Um, the uh, Sterns Tan uh, it's a great flesh color, it looks like rigid leather. Succubus Red is kind of like a, um, it's got a little bit of purple in it. It's not too much on the brown side, it doesn't look like. And then speaking of purple, they've uh, got this really cool looking purple up here, which is also a little transparent as well. So we'll see what we can get together for the miniature and let you know what, uh, what colors we used on that because according to their guide, a little bit of mixing, some of the leather, uh, one of the two of the paints from the adventure set and just a normal silver right there and you're good to go as far as he goes but then there's lots of other colors left over for just under dark stuff in general and we got dritz all painted up here it's actually pretty easy to paint them just like in the guide uh that they give you in here because you get most of the colors uh except for the under dark nope you do get the under dark gray you just don't get that green, so we used uh, we used the Army Painter version of that green right there and worked it out and added a little strong tone uh, to the sword to kind of match what they did right there. And I think it uh, I think it came together pretty wonderfully. It added a little snow and some tufts from the Army Painter as well, and uh, washed the base underneath there with a little bit of that strong tone too. And I think it uh, I think it came through pretty good. So you know, Army Painter and of course the D&D paint sets are are just great in general. This. We painted up a lot of stuff here at the studio with their metals. This is their golds uh, worked up all the way through and a little bit of the same mithril we used right here on that. Uh, this was done with an airbrush, of course, but we've also done some other techniques with just layering and stuff for games like Warhammer 40K as well. So lots of uh, potential here for these paints and with the little 12 ounce bottles, I think it's a really great little set that you can pick up and paint all of your heroes and you know some of your underdark Denzian monsters that uh, you might need to as well. So that is it for this one. Thank you for watching our unbox and uh, quick painting. <laughs> How we painted it, we used the guide uh, on <laughs> on the new Army Painter D and D Under Dark set from Galeforce Nine Army Painter and officially licensed D and D product from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. This set will be up for sale, I think, in November 
Of course, you can get it for less at Miniature Market as well as ArmyPainter.com and wherever Army Painter paints are sold.